Welcome back to Inside Out. As promised, let's get straight to our Swatlight segment. Hariom Pipes, that's a manufacturer of structural and multiple industrial pipes and tubes. They have facilities in Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Now, the company has a total manufacturing capacity of around 7 lakh tons. And they are an integrated manufacturing company with strong dealer networks. And they also have diverse product portfolio that consists of mild steel billets and tubes, galvanized pipes, hot rolled, cold rolled and galvanized coils, as well as a scaffolding system business. The capacity addition has been via the organic route and also the Perindurai plant, which was acquired in the past fiscal. They cater to a variety of infrastructural and industrial applications. That's across multiple sectors. Over the past quarter, revenues have moved to around 300 crores. This has this spike up in terms of the capacity utilization levels and margins have been holding at around the 12% mark. Volumes have picked up to around 50,000 tons per quarter as they have commissioned a new galvanized pipe plant at Telangana. That's ramping up and the EBITDA per ton has consistently been holding above that 7,000 rupees per ton. One factor could be operating leverage that is playing out. But the key reasons for a solid EBITDA per ton include value-added steel, that contributes a high proportion of their total sales mix. This as they ramp up the galvanized pipe and coil production at the acquired Perindurai plant in Tamil Nadu. Additionally, part of their raw material, well, that's scrap. So they benefit on the spreads front. The management has also been focusing on keeping a lid on power and fuel costs due to the commissioning of the two megawatt power plant, efficient usage of plant power coming in from IEX, and also installation of a higher efficiency electric melting furnace. Valuations, well, they're supportive at around 15 times EV per EBITDA. We have annualized the past quarter's EBITDA number, and also we have taken into account debt of around 410 crore rupees. The management, though, is guiding for revenues to spike up to around 2,500 crores as they ramp up capacities, which they've added both organically and inorganically. They've also mentioned that they'll not compromise on profitability. Now, if this is the case, then the company is available at around 10 times EV upon a beta on FY26 earnings. The management has also stated that the operating cash flows will improve progressively as they're currently maintaining high raw materials as well as finished product inventories due to the commissioning of the new coal roll mill and galvanized pipe plant. They also say that the operating and free cash flows will turn positive in the next two to around three quarters. As the market for the products, the product mix and the supply chain, all of them will stabilize. Now, though the stock is near 52 week high, it is yet to see any kind of meaningful contribution or participation coming in from institutions. Now, valuations, they give some comfort, but it appears Institutions would wait for delivery on cash flows and debt reduction, which has been keenly watched. Well, we've run out of time on this edition of Inside Out. It's goodbye from Sonal and myself. But do write to us. Tell us about companies you want us to discuss and you want to hear about. We'll feature some of these on the show. Thanks so much for watching.